alaikum, good day and welcome to our song and poetry resource kit showcase. I am Auni Kisina Binti Asrul, one of the creators for this kit. Before we start, let us all scan the QR code for the resource kit displayed here to better understand this demonstration. Once you successfully reach the homepage for this resource kit, I will ask all of you to scroll downwards and click on the creators section. These will be the faces and names of the creators that will be joining us in this video. Now, let's click this button to return to the homepage and start with the first section. Thank you, Ms. Aoni Kisina. To start off, may all of you please click the level 1 button. I will begin with the explanation of the DSKP and our major choice of theme for this kit. So, as we can see, we produce this kit mainly to educate or help children in the level 1 range, aged 7 to 9 years old. This helps teachers educate better as they have aims and goals which is set to help their students achieve. As for our team today, we will be focusing on songs and poem based activities that can help our students. Thank you Songtian for that run through. Now moving forward, let's click this button here. Yes, the one that spells out available to reveal our first collection of resources centering the song Scars to You Beautiful by Alicia Cara. As we navigate through this section, we can see an embedded picture that leads us to the corresponding music video and a drop down of the song lyrics. I would like to mention that all of our resources are divided into two proficiency levels. Starting with the lower level, we have prepared a worksheet focusing on listening skills and a quiz focusing on both listening and reading skills. To access the materials, users can click on the embedded pictures, make a copy of the worksheet and quiz template before changing the main focus according to the classroom needs. Moving on, the higher level starts off with a similar but much more advanced materials, a worksheet that focuses on listening and reading skills, and a quiz that focuses on listening, reading and writing skills. However, there is an added creativity-centered activity that focuses on reading, writing and speaking skills, whereby the students are required to compose a poem based on the given song. This material requires teachers to guide students to successfully achieve the intended purpose. All of the instructions are written in detail here. For your information, all of the resources prepared above are easily adjustable to accommodate the topics and needs of teachers in class. That's all for the first song section. Thank you. Hi, it's me again. So thank you Aoni Kistina for the splendid and thorough explanation about the song. So now my part which is the song The Climb by Miley Cyrus. So let's get started. So we here are focusing on two skills which are listening and reading skills. Consisting of two proficiency level which are low proficiency level and also high proficiency proficiency level. So let's start with the first activity in the low proficiency level which is regarding phone. So how to play this game? Okay, you must be questioning about it. So we have two instructions here. So the first, the instruction number one is student will listen to the song and jot down a few words from the from the lyrics that they like. For an example, let's say that the students have chosen climb, mountain, and also look. Okay, now let's move on to the second instruction over here, which is each student we draw the word they choose and guess it in Gartic fold, meaning here that the process is actually student number one will pick a word from the song, let's say that uh, the climb. So the student number, so they will draw the climb. Let's say they will draw a mountain, and then the second uh, student will actually have to guess the drawing that they have been chosen by first student. So let's. Take a look at the example of the gameplay here. Let's move on on to the second activities and the third activities in the part of the high proficiency level. So the first activity that we have over here is actually at Puzzle It. So it's focusing on listening and writing skill. So what is exactly at Puzzle? At Puzzle is a website that can actually be used by teachers to introduce the students of the digital skills 
to make the students use and watch the videos and answer a few questions based on the video. So we have a few instructions over here. So the first instruction, students will open the app puzzle that is modified for them. So the app puzzle must contain the song, the climb song, and a few poses that contain questions are, that are made for the students to answer. And the instruction number two, actually, each time the students, the question is prompted to the students, students will have to answer the question truthfully. And the question can be in the type of multiple choice question and also can be in the close ended questions. So these are a few of example of the ad puzzle that can be seen here. Now, for the second activity, for the high proficiency level, is sing and write your fantasy. So, we have two instructions over here. So the first instruction is student will sing along to a song and understand the lyrics. So in this context, the, the song that we have chosen is this, The Climb by Miley Cyrus. So this the song choice uh, will make the student learn a new words and also know the moral values of the song. So for example, uh, based on the song My Desires, uh, the climb here, we can conclude that life is not always about struggles when we see the end of our journeys. As far as we know, the life has, the, our life has ups and downs and also we need to embrace it in order to make ourselves successful in this world. So instruction number two here, students will have to write a story which is a moment in my life that I feel the need of living and also based on the song, using the whole song or parts of it. As for an example here, we can see that uh, my story here is an example of a of a child that has been beaten by his by his step by his stepdad. And from this, what we can see here, from the song itself, we'll make the student write down a few of short story that they have been facing in their lives so that that will make them feel like school that like these activities can make them to feel like they can let it out that's it for my activities in songs so now let's move on on to the next part that will be explained by my friend which is Isarit Sophia yes, thank you so move on to the next group beside this song which is the poem so if you look uh, in the primary ESL classroom poems, we are going to talk about the poem itself and the activities based on it. Uh, the first poem, which is, is Hey Little Little. So we can look through on the Google site. And then if we look at the low proficiency level, we got uh, the first activity is quiz. This quiz consists five questions in Google form. So this quiz uh, is focused on your listening skills. And the instructions is very easy. Just listen to the poem carefully and answer the quiz with the best answer match. So the second activity is Add a Doubt. Uh, which is, this activity is going to focus on your listening skills. So how we do it? First of all, make a group. Each group will listen to the instructor to add. Uh, maybe add as animals stated in the poem and other group will rate your ad 1 until 10. So the group who gets the highest rate will be rewarded. So uh, if we can see the skill implement containing the SKP 1.0 listening skill page 24 and 26. So for the high proficiency level, the first activity we suggested is mix and match. Uh, this activity focuses on writing skills. The instruction is very easy to this after reading the poem. You just need to rewrite the poem using similar words that rhymes with the above poem. So see the skill implement contained in DSKP 4.0 writing page uh, 40 until 43. The second activity is open-ended question, which is this activity focuses on your reading skills. The instruction is after reading the poem, you need to answer the quiz via the link provided. The first person who got full mock will get a present. Okay, so here we got two quiz from quizzes. Uh, kids can easily just click the link uh, and answer, and maybe teachers can give the reward at the end of the quiz. So the skill implemented containing the SKP is 3.0 reading page 34 until 37. So 
Uh, let's hear about the second poem. I'll pass to Mr. Zayat. Thank you, Zari. Continuing on, the second poem would be the poem Rain. As we can see, here's a YouTube video of the poem. For the first activity of the low proficiency category, we create a move along activity. Students can separate themselves into group of five and produce a play of the poem. For the second activity, quizzes can also be a very good way of interaction to enhance the student's knowledge with a plus of their digital knowledge as well. As for the higher proficiency students, students can pick one song of their choice that rhymes with the poem. After that, they are encouraged to produce a new song by picking out some lines of the poem and rhyme it into the song they picked. Similar to the first activity, the second one, students ought to find words that are synonym to each other in the song that they chose and also the poem and list them out. After that, students can chant the words together when a song is played. This helps to test and expand the student's vocabulary as well. If you were paying attention, you may have already noticed that each and every one of the adapted activities has numbers down corresponding to a certain topic or subtopic in the DSKP below it. Thank you, Mr. Johnson, for that splendid explanation. So now let's move on to the next part, which is we'll be discussing about the strength of our activities. So first of all, what we can see from our activities is that most of our activity will actually be enhancing the digital skills of our student. For example, the usage of quizzes, at puzzle, and also the Gartic phone itself will make the student explore about the usage of digital skills because they are they will be using a lot of stuff from the internet that they will need to be learning it so that they can actually apply it in their daily life of course everything has pros and cons now the question is what about the weakness well we believe that the only weakness our kid has uh, is that it does not specify which grade the resources are optimal for However, that could be a sort of a strange as it is all up to the teachers, creativity to develop the activities itself. Then again, what we believe is the strength and weakness of a certain thing may not be the same as what you think it is, so it is all up for interpretation. Hmm, very well said. I find that there's room for improvement in everything, including to further refine this resource skill. What would your suggestion be, Miss Sophia? So, I strongly believe that building excitement for content and lesson plans is not a bad idea. This one works well to meet the grade level of either elementary school, middle school or high school. Start lessons by previewing particularly exciting parts Hooking students' interest from the get go. As the students settle, go through an agenda of the day's highlight for the whole class. This could include group tasks and changing bits of content and anything else to pique curiosity. For example, throughout the day, uh, you will learn about or maybe how to talk like you are a teacher. So this focus on sentence structure and why you don't know anyone who's won the lottery. This is focused on probability. And what all the President of the United States have had in common? So they focus on social analysis. The goal of the classroom management technique is to immediately interest students in your agenda and thereby dissuade misbehavior. So, what about you, Mr. Zayx? Find any great idea? I would like to hear from you too. As I would say, maybe we could add a little more interaction by inviting people of different countries to join as well when having our classes or even activities with the students as they get the first-hand experience of what it is like speaking to international people. Hmm, in my opinion, rewarding will be beneficial. Why? Because those who did great job will be rewarded accordingly. This is why it is important for the student to be rewarded because 
when they see these rewards, they will feel motivated to do the job properly. For an example, if I say, if you get this question right, I will give you one ringgit. So most of the students will keenly answer the question rightfully. Why? Firstly, I believe it would be better if the users, either teachers or not, are able to optimize the usage of the materials as for mentioned by Ms. Sophia earlier. Therefore, I suggest research be made to analyze which resources are best suited for which grade. And since our kit focuses on level 1, it'll be either grade 1, 2 or 3. Thank you my friend, Auni, Izari Sofia and also Yap Chong Sen. So now, I will be taking it from here to bid everyone adieu and especially thank everyone for staying with us in this showcase until the very end of it. May our resource kit help simplify the work for all of us, for all of our hardworking and amazing educators out there and that prepare the resources benefits all. Thank you very much.